Hi, I'm Andy Johnson, and I'd like to give you a brief introduction to the Electronic Visualization Laboratory here at the University of Illinois at Chicago. EVL was founded back in 1973, and back then, the members of our laboratory looked like this. Today, we look more like this. Throughout all that time, EVL is focused on the same basic areas. We primarily do research in the areas of advanced display design, visualization and visual analytics, high-speed networking, interaction, and collaboration. Almost all of the work that we do here in EVL is interdisciplinary and collaborative. And we work with people in art, the earth sciences, the learning sciences, biomedical researchers, communication, cognitive science, and other fields to apply our expertise to real problems in those disciplines. At EVL, we develop a new display device every couple years to support new ways of visualizing and interacting with data. In the 90s, we revolutionized virtual reality by creating the projector-based cave. In the 2000s, we created the highest resolution display wall on the planet. We also create desks and tables and tabletop displays. All of these displays, like this one, are big to support collaborative interdisciplinary work. Some of our students focus on integrating the hardware, others on writing the middleware to drive the hardware, some focus on working with domain scientists to create new applications to take advantage of that hardware, and others work to study how users interact with displays like these. For example, a couple years ago, we built a high-resolution 100-touch table called Tactile. This table is used by museums to teach their visitors about water flow and rising sea levels, but also by scientists at Argonne National Laboratory to interact with climate simulations. We've also had the students in our video game development course create interactive games for it. In the 90s, we discovered that we really wanted to tie these devices together through high-speed, high-bandwidth networks so our users could work together with their data and their collaborators spread around the planet. EVL now has 30 gigabits of dedicated fiber optic networking and links to major universities and laboratories around the world. We've started a new project with Walt Disney Studios to help transform the way they make movies by making use of these high-speed networks. Another project we're currently working on we call Project Lifelike. And in this project, we're trying to create realistic virtual humans, or avatars. We have our own motion capture studio. And once we've collected data on the face and the body, we can reconstruct a virtual copy of the person. We want to create an avatar who looks, sounds, and reacts like a real person for use in teaching and training applications, but also one that could function as a virtual tour guide in a museum or as an assistant to help in data analysis. Another device we are currently working on is the Omega Desk, which has two large stereo monitors, touch, and gesture recognition. We are currently using this display to investigate the effect of surgical lasers on skin, but maybe it'll become the office desk of the future. At EVL, we're always building something new. Here are some designs for a display device we're going to be building next year, the Next Generation Cave. And here is some footage of people doing some testing with some new panels. At EVL, our goal is to give our students access to innovative technology that will be commonplace in the future, but let them play with it today. We want to create an environment where faculty and students can explore the potential of cutting-edge technology and work with experts in a variety of domains to use that technology to solve real-world problems. If you would like to know more about EVL, be sure to check out our web pages and our videos on YouTube. Thank you.